Hi, hi everyone. Frankie here at New West Reset. Hello. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at this crazy old warehouse here that's got a bunch of beautiful murals painted all over it. And the trick about these murals is I think a lot of times artists are hired and they're allowed to paint murals on these older buildings because it, it helps to hide stuff. But there's something really interesting about this, uh, this old warehouse which we'll get into in just a sec. So stick around and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. We are uh, around the corner of 10th Avenue and 12th Street Southwest. And uh, uh, this, uh, this old warehouse here is really interesting. Now, I know for a fact that this warehouse used to be the Smith Built Hats um, warehouse production facility. And this is where they made all of the Smith Built brand cowboy hats right here in Calgary, Alberta. You've heard of Stetson cowboy hats? Well, here in Calgary, we have our own version of that. It's Smith Built Hats. They've been around since the, well, at least since the 20s. I know that this warehouse was functioning as the Smith Built Hats production factory or warehouse or whatever, starting in the 20s. And up until the uh, mid 90s, they were here until they closed up shop and moved to a different part of town. The thing that's really cool about this is there's a lot of really interesting little doodads still left on the thing that when we have a closer look, we'll see. But it's attached to another building which has an identical profile, but it's a completely different building. It's got a completely different uh, sort of floors or levels in it. But, well, you'll see what I mean here. See how everything like this line along that, see what they've done is they've boarded up. There used to be a row of windows along the top here. Uh, those windows that they could you could sort of open outward on an angle um, So they've boarded all those up, but you can see there's a line that follows that well that line follows this building here, too And as far as I know This building which is um You could sort of rent audio and visual video equipment or buy audio and video equipment from that place cameras and video cameras microphones all that stuff as far as I know that has always been what that business is so it's, it's just weird that they line up perfectly. That line follows the same sort of line. There's windows along the top there. Where I know there used to be along here too. So it's very strange. But what, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot around at the side of this thing. We'll have a look. And then we'll go to the front, which is the uh, north-facing side. Right now we're on the south-facing side. This is just the back alleyway here. But we'll kind of do a loop-de-loop -loop 360 around this thing and have a really good look. But right now I want to kind of check out some of the stuff that's back here. So you can see a whole bunch of funny little vents back in here. Uh, the, uh, the artist has tried to sort of hide or copy with, with painted effect. But uh, you can definitely see there's a vent there, a vent there. A scary old, uh, you know, where the electric was just brought in and put around those, uh, where it's sometimes glass or ceramic insulators. So that, that's always really scary. You're going to burn the place down doing that. But a uh, really cool old loading dock here that they've just retrofitted with a door instead. And the same thing that was here, you can see where they've removed that big sort of uh, footing beam there. And then again, they've just retrofitted in a steel door. But it used to be uh, the big warehouse doors. And they've uh, boarded up a window there, boarded up something there, boarded up a little funny little thing there as well like a little copper smokestack or something coming out of the top there as well. But let's uh, mosey around to the, well, let's have a look at the foundation here. Because it seems kind of hanky. It's definitely a poured concrete foundation that looks like it was poured maybe in sections or something. Now, I was under the assumption that there was no basement in this place. But it looks like there's some sort of sealed up I don't know what these are I don't know if they're vents so yeah it looks like there used to be vents along there there's one down there uh, I think there's another one sort of under here it's hard to see but yeah it's just really funny looking 
See, it looks like they've just smeared this whole building with schmutz and started to break away here now. And then underneath there, I thought that was concrete, but it seems really fragile. So it might be sandstone. I'm not sure. This is definitely that sort of concrete pebble mix stuff. Like I said, I know that this was, I'm pretty sure it was in the 20s that it started and it was started in this location. And it, it remained here until the mid 90s. Then they moved to Inglewood. So this here is the west facing side of the building. So now you can see along the top here where they had like windows there, or they may have been even at one point maybe access points to the hoists that would hoist stuff up into the warehouse, because this is the, again, another sort of receiving door, or warehouse door here. This, I don't know if this was a window or what that was, but that's all boarded up. You can still see the hardware where the door would slide open so they could load stuff in and out of there. Another one here where they've actually removed the door and you can see where they've closed in the big big door and then they've just put in a smaller more modern steel door again along the top there you can see where the hardware still remains where the door would slide and again these funny little boarded up windows along the top there along the bottom it's just it looks like it's just concrete and then they've just Smeared more schmutz on it to try to I don't know, keep it uniform. Oh, it's windy. I'm gonna have to yell at you here. Sorry. So this is the this is now the uh, north-facing side of the building. So again, a couple of little vents there. This building is for sale. Ah, it's pretty old to buy an old building like this. But anyway. Again, you can see there's some sort of a line along there and along there. And it goes right down the entire length of the building. Same as at the back side that we just looked at. And again, all these boarded up windows here. You can see here how it's, it sort of comes out a bit, right? So they've smeared schmutz here and here, but different layers. But the funny thing is that this was the main entrance because I can remember walking past here to go to and from work and you know this was the main entrance that all the employees would go in so you've got to go up a bunch of hanky stairs to get into the door to this place so it's funny that the main floor is I would say maybe what this would be maybe about four feet up off the ground so it would lead me to think that you know, the, the main floor inside is at this level, you know, about four feet off of the sidewalk here. But is there a basement? I, I don't know, but I did find... That's a cute little dog. Hey, little guy. I did find this. So this is not an original window. Uh, very obviously, it's been cut after the fact, and then they've uh, put like a... A grate or like a, almost like bars over it. Let's see if I can see in there. There's a little crack in there, but no, I can't really get in there. But it looks like it's a, like a wooden window frame or something, but it's really weird because I didn't think that this old place had a basement at all, but obviously it has some kind of lower level to it to have this funny retrofit window put in. So yeah, really a, kind of a hanky old warehouse. It's been empty for, hell, at least 20 years that I can think of, or going on 20 years anyway. But this building that's next to it, now it does jut out here a little bit as the this other building uh, with all the audio video equipment. But you can see like those lines all sort of line up. The roof line is the same height. And then this building though, like all the doors are on the ground level. Like there's a sort of a, shipping and receiving door there's no windows or nothing on the side of this thing maybe at one time there, there were but again they've covered it in this texture stuff in the top 
they've, they've put that corrugated metal sheeting on there and then there's funny little windows at the very, very top, just like we saw at the back side of this building as well, from the alley. And then this is the front of the business, the main entrance of the business. So you can see, you go in, it's closed for the day, obviously. It's after 6 p.m. here. So, you, like, when this sh steel shutters are open, I mean, that's the main door to go in and out. So you just walk right in. Uh, there's manager's office behind this window. There is an upper floor to this, from what I understand. They use it as storage. To, it's like their stock room on the upper floor of this thing. So what I'm thinking is this building has a main floor at ground level and then a second floor through this whole Vistec building. But then the old Smith built Hats building, their main floor is up. So I think when you go in, you go, you go up to go in and then once you're in, there's access to a lower level. And this building I don't think has a lower level. So I, it's really hinky and really weird to me and I don't get it. So you, you tell me in the comments what you think, if you can figure out what the heck they're doing with this building. Did they just build this after on and butt it up against that old warehouse and sort of match the same roof line and everything? Or was it at one point maybe two warehouses that were adjoined that were built in the 20s or used throughout the 20s? And this one eventually was more modernized and the Smith built hats one stayed basically unchanged from when they built it it's it's hard to say i don't know oh we're gonna get some huge glare from the sunlight sorry about that another beautiful day here today 30 degrees celsius right now it's six just after 6 p.m it's like 92 or 95 fahrenheit so that's pretty hot for uh september 1st upon filming this here in canada in alberta hey eh? that's pretty hot so you can see there's their upper windows. They've got, they've got them boarded up from the inside or plywood over them. But then, then this is another sort of shipping receiving door. And again, it's at ground level. So it's really strange to me how... Uh, let's get out of the glare. It's really strange to me how all these lines just sort of line up. The roof is the exact same height. Everything is matchy-matchy. But this ground level floor and then an upper floor... And this one has their main floor is upper and then a lower floor or maybe from the front of this old one you got to go up or down to get in but at the back which is sort of more of the warehouse access with these loading docks maybe it's all one level and it's the the ceiling height is higher at sort of at the back half of the building i don't know i've never been inside this thing never had a chance to have a little peekaboo before they packed it up so I don't know, really interesting, very strange. I walk past this thing all the time. I think it looks really nice that they've, you know, they painted murals on it, so it's not such an eyesore. Maybe it'll help sell the place because it was pretty beat up after Smith built, uh, moved out of the place. So yeah, I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, I, I can't figure this out. I don't know if this was two buildings built at separate times and they just tried to match this newer building to the old one. If at one point it was all one building and this was renovated and this never was, I don't know. Hard to say. But either way, pretty interesting old building and I think it's pretty cool that they still have a lot of the old hardware from their loading docks and stuff. And it's just really neat from, you know, days gone by, a bygone era. So I think that's going to uh, seal the deal here today at New West Reset for the old Smith Built Hats Warehouse. So yeah, let me know what you think. Give me your ideas, your opinions on the, the wackiness of these places here down below. Just beep boop bop it down there in the comments for me. Do all the other YouTube things. And uh, yeah, until the next one, have a good one. Take care and we'll see you again soon. All right, cheers.